How many of you are ready to see? If you're ready to see, let me know you are ready to see. You are an entrepreneur. You are not shameless. Please, I hope everybody did a, screen, a screenshot of that post. Did, they, did we do a screenshot of this post? Did everybody do a screenshot of this? I hope you did a screenshot of this. You've done a screenshot already. Put it somewhere. You'll be reminding yourself. Fantastic. Good. Good. Okay. So the first one is that innovation requires boldness. Okay. Entrepreneurship is inherently about bringing ideas to life. Often these ideas will challenge, like challenge the status quo and be met with skepticism and criticism. If you care too much about what people think, or what others think, you might hesitate to take the necessary risk. That's the truth. When we started the, the Own Your Life campaign, I'm sure you guys know, if you've been in this business long enough, I'm sure you know that what we started with was Own Your Life campaign before La Buena Vida project. But still the same business, we've only partnered with com one company for the past eight years. Only one company. We've not jumped from one company to the other, please. It's only been one company for the past you know, eight years. So when we started um, this business, we wore our T-shirts, we went to AIM Global, we told them we've arrived. We've arrived. We're here to take over. There's nothing that we did not hear that day. There's nothing. Now then, now don't no worry. After one or two days, now then go tired. Just give them. Some people even saying, let them give us one month. Ah, we're the first group that started and failed. We're not the first now. We'll also not be the first that will come and go. We should just, as in, I heard some of them. This is not the one that they told me because I was there. Every critical point in this business have always been there. I've always been there. When we launched Own Your Life campaign, I was there. The event, when we went in global first time, I was there. When we launched La Buena Vida project first time, I was there. When I said that, I was, I was at in global office when we launched it with them. Because I mean, they're our company. So anything we're doing, they have to know. So that first day, there's nothing they did not say. Leave them, not them, initial gra gra. They will go, don't worry. The second thing they started saying about us, the, the slander was too much. This slander was too much. There's nothing they did not say about us when we started. There were just a bunch of young people. We're circumventing the wheel. We're bringing up new methods, new method that is not the right thing. There's nothing they did not say. They, they will be saying a system, a system. They are not using the aim global way. They went and opened their own office. Opened their own office. We're one of the first set of people to have our own office like this. So, yes, yeah, some leaders may have their own small office where they put some products, maybe run some few training. But we're the first to have offices where we're running our own presentation. We called, they were even angry with us that we're calling the their own office warehouse. That we're calling their own office warehouse. So ladies and gentlemen, we change, if, if, we're, if we're scared about what people think, we will not have gotten this far. These of you that are proud to be part of our team now, you were part of Diamond Project, oh my God, our leaders are amazing, our system is the best. If we're not bold enough to take these critical steps, what would you be proud of? Too many of you don't have any business to run today. To make small money would have been a struggle for a lot of you today. To make 100K, 50K that some of you make without even, without even fidgeting, what would a lot of you have been today? It requires boldness. And as I, I, I beat my chest, chest every single time because I'm proud of the kind of leaders we have here, the kind of leaders we're building. We're leaders that are disrupting the status quo. We're shaking up the market. We're shameless entrepreneurs. We're not, we're not scared of anyone. We're not scared of what people would think. Nah, 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 nah. We're bold entrepreneurs. And I'm very, very proud to be part of this team. If you are not bold, ah, you just, nobody will even know about you. You will just come and go. Nobody will notice you. Nobody will notice you. Are you a shameless entrepreneur? I want everybody to go to the chat session and answer me. Are you a shameless entrepreneur? Are you a shameless entrepreneur? Someone said, I can't see the screen. Please, can you see the screen? Let me know if you can see the screen, please. I have, have less time to show this. Can, you, can everybody see my screen? Someone is saying I can't see the screen. Okay, please, it's, it's from you. You may have to, you may have to leave and uh, move your distance. Being shameless allows you to push boundaries and pursue your vision with unwavering confidence. Some of you at home now, they are calling you that eh, no be only diamond na silver project. No be only silver na 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 na, na. They've, they've not they've called you all sorts of things. Your heart is already failing. 
You're already doubting your business. You're doubting the potency of your business. How dare you? How dare you doubt your business? How dare you doubt your vision? How dare you doubt the plans you had in this business? Some of you were already flying high. The moment you allow that doubt to enter your heart, that is why some of you have started struggling. You need to understand the power of doubt. If you understand the power of doubt, you will not even allow it anywhere near your heart. That is why I tell you, I like, protect my mind, I protect my heart so much. If you, as much as, I left my house very early. Like I moved away from my family house very early. And for an Igbo, an Igbo girl, that is a big deal because if you're not married in an Igbo home, how dare you? But I had to because all the way you're coming from, all those things you're doing, how come it's not? I could not allow it because I know the power of words. I know the power of words. And that is number one. Number two, you have to be resilient in the face of what? Failure. Failure is a natural part of the entrepreneurial journey. You need to understand you need to understand a lot of the people who are successful today in 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 um, um in network marketing are people that will tell you that oh they had to rebuild their business twice three times and before he said how many times even mentioned again i think it's seven times he mentioned and he still went on went ahead to have the most one of the biggest network marketing business one of the biggest um, 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 um business here in network marketing every entrepreneur a successful entrepreneur has faced setbacks and criticism. The problem is that some of you, you see some shiny things on Instagram. You now say, okay, let me go and join this person. Let me now join this business this person is doing. And you still get there and find out that it is not easy because no business is easy. People are just putting their best foot forward. If you go on my Instagram page, you see the shiny thing. You see my Instagram page. But people will not know that a lot of work is going behind the scene. A lot of work is going behind the scenes. So that is also how a lot of you will see other people shining and not know that a lot of work goes into it. If you're overly concerned with people's opinion, oh, what if I fail? If I fail now, they'll laugh at me. Let them laugh. Let them laugh. You, they will laugh. They will see you stand up, dust yourself, and get back to work. Because they too are failing at things and they are not even telling you. They too are failing at so many things, but they are not even telling you. They are dusting themselves and standing up. You are seeing the exciting part. So you now think all is well with them. If you are overly concerned about people's opinions, the honest truth is you would never, ever go far. Failures can feel devastating and might deter you from continuing. But if you allow people their opinion, a shameless attitude helps you view failure as a learning opportunity rather than reflection of your words. Some of you will fail at it and start feeling, start doubting your words, start doubting your, whether you're capable. Some of, you, some of you will even start doubting this business. Instead of you to focus your thoughts, that energy, on how are you going to bounce back bigger and better? How are you going to bounce back bigger and better? And when you don't focus on this, thoughts like this, trust me, you're going down. You're going down. Number three, when you are a seamless entrepreneur, it helps you to build a unique brand. It helps you to build a unique brand. Please, everybody, let's continue to promote this meeting. I don't like the number that I'm seeing, and I know we can do better than this. Please, everybody, make sure you post the link. And please do not post on the general group. Or be very careful when you're posting so you don't mistakenly post on the general group. Only post on the Global Stars group, please. Be very careful when you're posting because other leaders are having their own meetings. So you don't disrupt their own meeting by posting the link in the general group. Okay? Awesome. So don't post in the general group. Okay? So building a unique brand. Successful brands often stand out because they dare to be different. If you constantly try to conform to others' expectations, your brand might become, you know, you cannot distinguish your brand from the competition. You will not be able to. Look at look at us today. A lot of the key leaders that started Alliance Emotion Global. Let me tell you guys something that happened. Hmm? And whenever I'm sharing this story, I don't want you to be saying, eh, eh, is the leaders now. No, I want you to see how you two can come and shake up this market. Because they did not write anywhere that if only Ambassador Ronke that will be one of the top leaders. They did not write it that only Boss Mike will be one of the top leaders. They did not write it that it's only some of these leaders, the G8 leaders. No. Everybody has an equal chance. I want you to understand that. 
when we started as a team at uh, uh when, we, when we started as a team here in alliance motion global the honest truth is the company had already done they've already done four to five years in nigeria about four years or so in nigeria when we started um you know four years after they had started though so that when you are saying only the people at the top i want to remind you that we were never close to anything at the top there was a time when boss mike was prospecting bring con connecting people together we had only one office we were pushing ourselves so if you're saying only the people are at the top i'll ask you how did they get to the top what did they do is it not what you are doing now that they did the only thing is that they were more committed they did not bicker they did not whine they gave they gave this this business their very best till the till this point they're still giving it their very best you, you do the business one week on, your one week off. They are begging you to come for team training. Some of you see where you're joining cell meeting. They are begging you to come for cell meeting. They are begging, you've already missed, some of you that are joining now, you've already missed three points and some other things we shared. You've already missed three points already and some things we shared. And you are wondering why these people are at the top. Some people that came up, what they did was as soon as, if 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 we were not, if we were ready to conform, because the honest truth is you either, when you get into the market space or you get into a new market, right? When, when, you, when you decide that you're going to be an entrepreneur, there are two things to decide. Whether you're going to conform, conform to what is already existing, or you're going to bring up something new that would, would disrupt the market space. Something that would disrupt, like completely, something that you bring in and people are saying, what is this thing this person is bringing? How does he think it will work? If your business does not come like that, that means you are conforming. That means you're bringing in what every other person already knows. Do you understand that? There was something that happened, um, I think that was two years after we started. So Boss Mike had limitless, our president, when I say Boss Mike, I hope you guys know who I'm talking about. That's our leader, um, our president. When he came into this business, he had limitless mindsets. He saw the potential of this business and he ran with that potential. There was one thing he did that I loved so much. He separated us from the other people. I like that. Because the truth is this. Those people saw limitations that we were not seeing. So when we moving with that limitless mindset, but Mike would tell us we'll take over. That was the mindset we were moving with. I remember those days, but Mike would tell us a time is going to come when we'll be driving in convoy. I didn't see how that was possible. I honestly did not see how that was possible because I was entering along. I had not even started driving. Like, I had not even, I did not even have driver's license. And at that point, he was saying, a time is going to come when we'll be driving in convoy. And I'm like, driving convoy, how? And about four years, five years after, we were driving in convoy, not just, when I say four years, first of all, from three years after, we're already driving in convoy with smaller cars. Four years after we started the business, we're already driving in convoys with luxury cars. So we were moving with that mindset. That is why if you're bringing in people into your team, bring them into a space where they are seeing potential. They are seeing that there's, there's no limit to what we can conquer. There's no limit to what, what is achievable. You must never use this your mouth to utter anything negative to the people that you are grooming in this business. Because the moment you put in limitations, it's that limitation that they'll focus on. So we grew with that limit, with that, with that limitless mindset. There was nothing stopping us. And but like every day he interacted with any of us, he was constantly selling the vision. This is where we're going to. This is where we're going to. Like, I, we could not help but, even if we were not seeing it, I'm sure you guys already know what faith is. Calling for things that they are not existing as if they are existing. You're talking about them as if they're existing. If you see the way Boss Mike will talk about them, as if, as if he, was, he was touching them. And when he's talking about it, a time is going to come when we're going to do this. When he's saying it, it's clear in our mind. You can literally feel it. You can literally touch it. I remember one time he was sharing with us how he went to one of the leaders. And he was talking about this. This is someone that was already a top and a boss. Mike was not one of the top 20 at this point. They had not called the top 20 at this point. He was not part of the top 20 at this point. So he went to one of the top leaders. This person is a top and a, one of the top leaders. So he was asking, I don't know how their conversation was going or what they were talking about. But it got to a point where they were now discussing income. Boss Mike innocently. At this point, though, that was like over... Five years ago, six years ago, and six years ago, Bosman said he was making more than four million naira in a month. 
The guy said, it's not possible. He was like, I don't understand. I was even thinking that you're going to tell me I'm not doing well. Like, I was even ashamed telling you 4 million because I know that the business has the capacity to pay you one account alone from that time has the capacity, I think, to pay you 3 million. And he had seven accounts. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you I'm making 4 million. I thought you were going to tell me I'm not doing well. Now, so now they do for here, like, I thought 4 million is like, like a shameful thing. I think it was even about one year after we started this business. He did not understand what, why, why this guy was doubting him. This is already a pop enna. As you to be making more money than him. And the person says, it's not possible. That was why we moved with that mindset. Look at the top 20 space today, where the ones occupying, where the ones occupy more than 80%. Where the ones occupy more than 80%. We moved shamelessly. We moved with no limitation, guys. When we started eight years ago, we were laughed at. I already shared this part. But what did we do? We dared to dream. You have to be a shameless entrepreneur. Another one is creative freedom. Worry about what people think will stifle creativity. Look at the kind of things we've brought up. Look at the strategies. Sometimes, in fact, the owners of our business, are, 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 they marvel at the kind of things we bring up. They, they marvel. Entrepreneurship requires thinking outside of the box and approaching problems from unique angles. Some of you, is when the leaders tell you, move, you move. Don't you think you can also bring up ideas? Don't you think you can bring up ideas that can shape your own business? By not caring too much about what people think, you give yourself the freedom to explore unconventional solutions and bring up innovative ideas. And I want to say this, every single part, every member here in this meeting you have the power you hold the power you hold the power to shake up things in this business every single one of you you hold the power to shake up this business the people who came before us here in alliance motion global they thought they had seen it all they thought that ah nothing again they know they've seen it all but what did we do we came up like i said earlier and shook everything we came up we came and shook everything I want to go to transition and say, I'm going to be a shameless entrepreneur. I don't even want to say I am going to, because it means like you, you now need to start working on. I want everybody to say, I'm a shameless entrepreneur. I'm a shameless entrepreneur. Until you get to that, you get to that point, trust me, nothing works. <laughs> Until you get to that point, trust me, nothing works. Until you get to that point, ladies and gentlemen, nothing works. When you get to the point where people are, are, are telling you, they're saying things about your business, you are still thinking about what people think. Yeah, and nah, you will not go far. That's the truth. You cannot even go far in our business. You are constantly thinking about what people think. No, my dear sister, you cannot go far. And I'm being this blunt because I want everybody to sit up. If you are not, if you're a shameless entrepreneur, taking risks will be a problem for you. Entrepreneurs must often take risks. Do you know the kind of risk we're taking? I'll give you guys this. I'll give you guys one thing I told myself. I told myself that when I moved into our neighborhood, one of the things I told myself was that I don't want anybody, I don't tell anybody about my business, blah, blah, blah. But out of the blues, I saw myself them about my business like i'm like okay something must have happened in me like something must have happened literally happened in me and when i was talking to them about the business i'm like what nobody died really nobody died nobody has died really i've told them about it i've told them like nobody has died one is even excited about it even excited about the bottle if you're too concerned about what people think there's some risks you cannot take there's some risks that you cannot take. Some leaders here have moved into states that they had no business moving into because they took some risks. I remember those days I'll travel to Enugu, from Enugu, I'll travel to, oh my goodness, travel to. I remember the first time I traveled to Enugu when, we, when some people put some things together. It was Jerry and I go to Enugu to build a team there in Enugu. We had events back to back. 
we set up our team there in Enugu. It was even from that Enugu, the person we, we built in Enugu that started Mr. Moses. That started, that, that built Mr. Moses. As in, when I said that, started the business and connected Mr. Moses. Now, from, from, from Mr. Moses, the business has entered Taraba, the business has entered Yola, has entered Kaduna, has entered some states I'm not even aware of. That is how powerful this is. Taking risks, if you don't take those risks, if you don't take those risks, if you don't take those risks, your business will still remain small. A seamless approach gives you the courage to trust your instincts. But sometimes your mind is telling you, do this, talk to this person. But because you're shy, what people will say, you allow that person to leave your business. Trust your instincts and make those bold moves that can lead to significant rewards, to significant income. Please, I beg of you, don't be scared. Don't let anything hold you back. You cannot be, a, there's, there's a, if, you are not, if you enter this space, the kind of heart you need to have. There's a type of heart you need to have. There's a type of, I want you to understand that, eh? All the entrepreneurs we celebrate today, all the successful entrepreneurs are shameless. Not one is not shameless. All of them from A to Z are shameless. Look at, look at Mark Zuckerberg. Look at the kind of ideas. Look at the kind of ideas that are coming into this young mind's mind. From Facebook, took over WhatsApp. From WhatsApp, Instagram. Now he has, what's the name of this one that he started, that is, that is connected to Instagram? Do we remember the name? I haven't been using it in a while, even though I have an account. Do we remember the name? Please remind me the name. He's just disrupting the market space here and there. No, not X. Thread. Thank you so much, Raymond. Thread. The guy is crazy. You cannot even bring up such ideas if you're not a crazy man. People need to call you crazy. People need to call you insane. Are you okay? You should bring up some ideas and people are like, wow, mind blown. And within your team, you tell your leaders, let's do this. They're like, oh, this is amazing. You're shaking up things within your team. Some of you, the reason you're not making money is because you're not shaking up things in your team. You're not shaking up things in your team. You know, have you sat yourself down to say, what idea can I bring in? And then you pray about it and you get your mind to work and you call your team and say, this is what we're going to do. And you push your team to it. I do this in my team. I do this in Global Stars. And that is why Global Stars has remained for the past eight years. I do this every single time. And I believe a lot of the leaders here should have learned from this. You should be able to disrupt things. And that is the only way your team can be one of the top teams. Don't just be in the sidelines. Sidelines, just stay. Just stay. When they say move, you move. When the movement is not doing you, you stay back. They will beg you again, move. You are not ready. You are not ready. You are not ready. You are not ready to check up things. Look at Amazon. Look at Jeff Bezos. When he started e-commerce, people were already used to traditional way of selling. We're trying to fight this guy tooth and nail because they didn't understand what he was doing. Somebody else would have said, okay, okay, since everybody's fighting me, let me just, okay, okay, it's not easy, it's not easy. I'm going through a lot. I've been through a lot. You know what? I have even lost it. I beg, I beg, I beg. Let me just judge be doing things the way other people are doing it. He will not have brought the change that we have today. I need to understand that some of these innovations, right, have a, a have a, um, um, is it ripple effect in other, uh, in other innovations that are coming up today? From what Amazon did, do you know other things he has brought up? Unconsciously, unconsciously, do you know other things that he has inspired in, in the current entrepreneurs we have today? Look at digital markets. We talk about digital marketing. We talk about all these things. As if it's not people like Jeff Bezos that inspire things like this. We talk about things like this, even the even social media space. It is people like him that disrupted that disrupted things that brought us to where we are today. Imagine he did not take the bold step. Why they, they, they filed major lawsuits against him? Because all the other traditional businesses, they saw him as a and they saw they saw him. The honest truth is that they, they had an inkling that this thing would blow and he was going to take them out of business. Instead of them to start seeing how, okay, what if we buy into this idea? Buy into this idea. 
but they did not see. The only thing they saw was what? They saw they saw threats. But did it stop Jeff Bezos? No, it didn't stop him. Today we're celebrating him. Today I'm talking about him. Another one is what? Leading by example. I say, leader, your attitude sets the tone for your team. Some of you here, you have five people in your team. You have six people in your team. You have no business being broke. You have six people in your team. You have seven people in your team, 10 people in your team. And because you're not disrupting things, you're not creating activities. That is why some of you, you, you make some money, you get cold, your teammates, they go. But if you're holding them back to back, back to back, nobody will sleep on you. Demonstrating a fearless approach to pursuing goals, regardless of external opinions, can inspire your team to adopt a similar mindset. As a leader, your attitude sets the tone for your team. It sets the tone. It, it is what determines if your team too will be a fearless, if your team will be fearless as well. Or if they are going to be waiting for things to be done. When you tell them move, they move. Stay, they stay. Sit, they sit. Go, they go. It is how you are. If you're leading by example, if they see that, ah, 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 no, 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 our leader, nah, our leader, our leader, you know, how our leader is fearless, they will move with that mindset as well. You are demonstrating fearless approach to pursuing your goals, regardless of external opinion. And because of how boss might is, that's how a lot of, if you notice, all of us are like that. If you notice, all of us are like that. Regardless of opinion, external opinion, you will not be able to inspire your team to adopt a similar mindset. If you're here as a leader, you are still saying things like, my mother did not, my father did not. Ah, what do you not want your teammates to be saying? What do you want your teammates to be saying? Ambassador Rocket. As in, you see her, she's pregnant, she's not, as in, she's, she, she's promoting her business, like her life depends on it. And sometimes I'm like, what she's doing in me, what she's inspiring in me, is that when I have kids as well, that is not going to be, that's not going to be a, what's the word now? Um, that's not going to be, a, it's not going to deter me. It's not going to deter me. That's what it means. So if you're the kind of leader that, hey, you're allowing what people say, you're allowing what people think to stop you, it is the same thing that will affect your team as well. This collective confidence, do you know what it can drive in your team? You have it, you have it, you build, you build a team, 20 people in your team that are shamelessly promoting this business. You know the kind of money you make and the kind of money they would also make because as you are inspiring them, they are inspiring their own team, they are limitless. I think this is the final one. No, 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 this shouldn't be the final one. I think we have two more to go. So one more, two more to go. Focusing on long-term goals. Entrepreneurship is a marathon. It is not a sprint. Some of you jump from one business to the other. You keep jumping from one to the other. Keep jumping from one to the other. Short-term criticism and judgment can be a distraction from your long-term goals. Some of you have already given yourself a plan. This is where I'm going to in the next three years, two years. This is what I would have done, blah, 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 blah. But constantly, you allow doubts from people to stop you from doing the thing you should have, you should be doing. Some of you would have gone far in this business. Some of you have no business making less than one millionaire in this business. But because every time you keep, you keep, you keep listening to what people do, so you take one one step forward with faith and take ten steps backward with doubts. How do you think you move forward? How do you, no tell me how you think you go far in this business? When one step, oh, after this ginger now, some of you be ginger, you take one step forward. And then somebody will say something to you. Ah, you take 10 steps backward. You can't move forward now. You can't go far. You have to constantly move with faith. You shamelessly move with faith. Shamelessly move with faith. By not caring so much about what people think, you can stay focused on your vision. Persist through the ups and downs of your, in, in this entrepreneurial journey. Hey, no matter what is happening, hey, look at you. If you're making all the money, why no, no, no? You're not even listening to what they're saying. You are not even listening to what they're saying. You are not even hearing what they're saying. As in, you can't even hear what they're saying. Do you know the people, people that are the most, do you know the people that are the most judgmental people that we have in the world today? People that don't have anything to offer you. People that are grinding will not, if you notice, people that are grinding and building something will not, will not say anything negative to you. 
They will even say, oh, me too, you know, me too, I'm building something. Eh? It's not easy, my dear. Just keep doing what you're doing. People that are building something, that are disrupting, trying, they also have that mindset. They're trying to disrupt the market space. They will never discourage you. If you think about the people that are that are that are affecting your mindset, think about it. The people that are saying negative things about your business, they've not built anything. They cannot even build anything. They can't, they don't have the capacity because such mindset cannot build anything. Such mindsets cannot build anything. They're telling you all those things. Baby, now so now, you be, hey, they cannot build anything. Look at check, check those people that are telling you feeding you with doubt. They can't. But people that are building things, the highest they will say is, to be honest, this is not my own path. I am, This is not what I want to do. But I, I'm proud of what you guys are doing. Wow, as in I've learned so much. Do you guys know, okay, my brother is in the tech space. He's, he's, he's into, like he's big in tech and everything. And I remember one time he said, he wants to come and see Boss Mike. I said, why? He said, he wants to tap into that mind, that man's mind. Like he wants to know how he thinks. That man is crazy. I want, to, I want to know how he thinks. There's one day, I remember when my brother came, he saw Boss Mike's car. They talked a little bit. He was like, God, that he wants to spend one day with him just, just to feed off his mind. Just to feed off his mind. This is how people think. That's how people think. That's how people that are building something, that's how they think. But somebody like, hey, all those things, they're losing your people, they're brainwashing you people. And you are not stupid enough to even, at least I know stupidity, you, I can't cure stupidity, unfortunately. But are you not even smart enough? Smart. At least you have brain in you, small. So smart enough to say, they are using these people, they are buying cars. You're using somebody and they are buying cars. You're using people, they are making money. Then he's, he's properly using them. <laughs> he's properly using them. You're not smart enough to think that like that. Focusing on on long-term goals. There's, a, there's another thing I wanted to add to it. I, to, I totally forgot. Another thing that affects you when, when you're not a shameless entrepreneur is that you will stop networking. If you already know me, you would know by now, I've said it a million and one times, that one of the things that affected me drastically, one of the things that affected me drastically was being introverted. So networking, talking to people was like a big deal for me, was a big was an issue for me, right? I used to talk about it almost every time. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not a shameless entrepreneur, there's some people that would have joined your business, but because you are scared, there's some people you have talked to that would have even bought this bottle, but because you are scared, what would they think? You ended up not getting them in involved. You ended up not getting them on board. You ended up not getting them on board. They ended up not collecting their number because you are thinking about what people would think. How can a hungry man be thinking about what, what people would think? How can you be hungry for success? You are hung, desperately hungry for success. 